So yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we have a PSA Jumbo Return. And yeah, as you can see, it's not actually Jumbo Pokemon cards. It's like cool Pokemon collectibles, like postcards and stuff like that. That are gradable by PSA. I'm going to show you them right here. And let's get this all out of the way because because these are bigger, I have to even get a separate tripod. And as you can see, a little teaser for what we have here, a little Fendi thing. If you know, you know, but we'll show you in a moment. But yeah, that's the difference. This is a regular TCG card. This is a slab for a Jumbo card. And if you do grade like Jumbo promo cards, and stuff like that they can slab them and this sort of size slab as well uh and yeah we do have one or two maybe we'll see i, I forgot what we sent so hopefully something cool in here guys let's see what we can get uh make sure to like and subscribe and yeah let's get into this so this is from uh this is a fendi pokemon so it's gonna be super hard to cover the great but yeah fendi pokemon guys if you remember i don't know yeah can you see that like changing there's three dragonites there and you got the Fendi Pokemon logo. This came with a Fendi Pokemon release in January this year. And if you went into the store and you bought some stuff, they gave you this postcard. I was like, oh my God, a postcard? I literally bought my stuff. And then she said, I'll go get for you. It's a postcard and a, a, a notebook. And I was super excited with the postcard because obviously there wasn't no trading card promo card. But I know postcards are gradable by PSA. Lenticular postcard, Fendi uh fragment dragon i wonder if i'm the first to grade these we'll check the pop later but we've got psa 8 there so ooh, not the best i knew i did have some flaws in some uh there's obviously going to be hard i'm just getting it in the shop i try to look after them as best as i could but we've got an eight there but yeah i did end up <laughs> buying some more stuff so i did get another one let's see what this one's got all right three two one mint nine you know what a mint nine on that you can see the lenticular. I do have this cling film on there. So bear in mind, this is removable. This is just so they don't scratch. Uh, and I'm going to keep this on until I get some sleeves. Because I know with my storage, these are going to be just moving all over the place. So bear in mind, this is not part of the slab. This is just protection layer, which can be removed. But yeah, a really cool collection piece. As you guys may know, I like collecting streetwear. Uh, designer goods etc so fendi pokemon an absolute epic one i don't know any other european designers that have collaborated with pokemon before so let me know if you do know but yeah this is a cool one so yeah look at that that is sick that is awesome apart from the adidas i guess adidas pokemon card but let me know any other european brands that may have collaborated with pokemon but yeah that's a cool one glad to have that in a collection We've got a nine which is nice i may have one more i can't remember maybe it's just the two i have uh I think I just got the two. But yo, let's go, let's go. Let's see what we got here, guys. Boom. Oh, Rayquaza Poncho. So I actually graded some of these before. So these are clear cards. These are like promotional items in the shop. This is from 2018. Midsummer, Pika Pika, OP, CP. Uh, don't know what it says, but Pikachu Rayquaza. It's pretty cool from yeah, 2018. Um, and yes, I mean, for the collection, you, know, you guys know, if you know me, I love collecting ponchos. Uh, and yeah, this is... Um, a cool poncho a very affordable poncho obviously poncho cards like in general are like what thousand at least for a minty one any of them will cost you a thousand plus for a mint one so these are the next best thing you can still pick these up in japan for a really good price not too much or less than a hundred ish i guess but uh not that expensive compared to the card but we got a seven so you got seven but yeah incredibly hard to grade i think the highest i got is like a nine i have graded some in before i've graded three in before which i picked up at a card show in the uk uh but uh, I did a short on that because uh, it was only a three card submission. But yeah, we got a seven. So I'll put that over in that pile. It's a nice one though. It's nice. But yo, this one's pretty cool. This one's slightly different slab. Oh my God, I peaked it. As you can see, the slab here is a bit thicker. So this is a different slab. But these are Shikishi cards. So I would have blurred the grade so you guys don't see that. But this is Shikishi Charizard. I got this in the Shikishi packs. I actually bought the pack. Shout out to Rhyme Style. He did a video on these. And I, first thing I did, I went online and found... Um, found some packs to open so i opened a whole booster box and i've done a video on the channel i've done a video on these on the channel and i've had them since then and yeah, i got a mid nine on this unfortunately so not german 10 i think german 10s these are pretty stonky this is a kind of niche collectible amazing artworks quality and foil and everything like that is really nice and these shikishis came in promo packs there are some tricky i remember i had some lucario ones as a pokemon center promo so they have a bunch of different pokemon shikishi cards uh um, art cards but yeah these are really really nice kind of collectibles and popular in japan the shikishi art board so yeah there we go there we go all right nine pile there we'll take that so a different kind of return today but boom is this the same one yes same one let's go all right so 
another one here. So yeah, I got some duplicates. I will sell my dupes. But let's see what we got here. Another Rayquaza. I love that. One, two, three, four, five, six different Rayquazas here. For the price of less than a Poncho Pikachu card. Oh my god, a seven again? Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what to price these at. Like, like I said, I got two here. So I'll definitely sell one, but... Yeah, just still clean, cool card, especially slab. Slabbing isn't cheap as well. It's like, um, I can't remember. But I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video. Sorry, guys, I just rushed into it. But shout out to my guy, Trust Grading, guys. If you do want to grade, use Trust Grading, the best middleman. Uh, he offers Jumbo service. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to grade any cards, Jumbo cards, regular cards, he is your guy uh, if you need a middleman to PSA in the USA. So, from the UK, I think, I don't know if he takes European submissions, but you can always email, message him. He'll answer your questions. He's an absolute legend. So, yeah, shout out to But, yeah, two sevens on the Rayquaza ones. There we go. There we go. All right, moving on. Ooh, oh, 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 you got the Charizard puncher here. One, two, three, four, five, six Charizards on one card again, guys. Charizard, a mint Charizard poncho will cost you at least 1.5 for a mint raw copy. If you're lucky enough, we'll get a box of it. It's like 5k US, isn't it? So these are really, really good alternatives if you love the poncho arts, but costume Pikachus. There are many, many other ones, not even just ponchos, like so many cool Pikachu artworks in these clear cards. Uh, but a seven again. I'm gonna have to retire from collecting these guys. <laughs> I can't keep doing these sevens. Uh, but yeah, seven again. But yeah, I just literally buy them off Macari, and I guess people just had them since 2018. They don't look after them. Very hard to store. Uh, but yeah, we got another one here. This is a Treasure Puncher. One, two, three, four, six. So the same one again. Oh, there we go. Gem Mint 10. Oh, okay. I'm not going to give up hope then. I am not going to give up hope, guys. Let's go. What the hell? Yo. Oh my god, that is incredible. I would love to tell you guys what is wrong with this. I can imagine surface scratching on these. If you just leave them around and not protected, not sleeved up, then it's going to have some surface scratches, edge wear. Um, so obviously I can't really show you right here, but I can presume surface scratching is massive on this. So to get one in a 10, I'm sure these are low population. So once I've shown you two of them, I'll put like a population here because maybe if it's pop two, then I have the only two. Because I know the other ones I graded, I was the only one grading those as well. I'm pop one on each single one. No other grades graded. Like I'm the only one that's ever graded those. So I'm not sure if these have been graded before. If so, you'll see or not. Uh, but it's just kind of niche, cool, collectible, especially if no one's grading them. And now I'm telling you guys, so maybe you guys can jump on it and grade them. But let's see what we've got here. Oh! We got more guys. We got more. Is it the same one? Oh no, it's not even the same one. Is it the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Uh, da -da -da, balloon. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, same one. Seven. Oh my god, they just give them flat out sevens. I wonder why. I wonder why. Maybe the corner. It'll definitely. I know for sure there will be some surface scratches on some of these. I remember. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure the ten is a big premium on that one, bro. Especially if there's like not many in the world, but we'll take that. We'll take that. Next one is a Magic Carp. There we go. This one I bought at London Card Show, and I was like, "Yo, Magic Carp!" I paid like fifty at the London Card Show, I think. But what, look at that. You got the Magic Carp and uh, Gyarados in one. So you got six, twelve Pikachu punches on one single card. Uh, so yeah, let's see. You got you got an eight. Okay, I'll take an eight. I'll take an eight. It is a lot better than all the sevens. So boom, we'll put that over there. And yo, we got another one. This is the last one of these. I do have more. I can show you some of the other stuff. Or maybe we'll wait for PSA returns. So I'll show you this one anyways. But we got the Gyarados Magic Cop. Nine! Nine! There we go. There we go. So much better results. I can see some centering as well. Like you can see this centering's a lot better. This one's off-centered compared to that. I don't know if they this would have been a gem mint card if it weren't for that uh so yeah it could be the case guys could be the case but we'll definitely take that then a nine on that maybe these are off center then and these are not uh well these are the off center that's not but yeah these are again pretty cool collectibles and you can see they've uh, slabbed it the wrong way around some are this way some are that way so there's no consistency this one seems to be the only one is which is facing the wrong way the rest are facing downwards so uh. No consistency there, but I can imagine it's pretty hard when it's a sideway card. Uh, but I can always, I, I'm pretty sure they should have like a rule. Like if it's sideways, then the text should be this way. 
or that way. Um, so these ones are all that way. I think sports cards go that way, right? So yeah, there should be a rule like that for uh, sideways cards. But nonetheless, pretty cool. We've got one ten, few nines, bunch of eights and sevens. But that's not it, guys. This is our final one. This is the biggest one right now. Our Lugia XD Jumbo Promo. I got this fresh out the magazine myself. And this one's pretty big card in a 10. It is pretty hard to grade. Because uh, as you can see, I don't know. I've seen 10. So these they have these like like these nipple things like here. Uh, and that's how they just come out the thing. Like that's how they produce. But the te even the PSA 10s I've seen have them. Apart from that, it looks like a flawless card. I've got this like, fresh out the uh 2005 magazine let me check yeah 2005 it's from uh so this is a 19 year old card you know so <sighs> i was hoping for a 10 guys i ain't gonna lie i thought it was a 10 it looked clean no creases nothing like that oh five on this oh my god it's probably the cleanest five you'll see oh, oh my god i got this fresh out of the magazine as well guys so yeah is what it is but we did have one more that wasn't graded which is it wasn't kind of part of this but it was kind of hard to slab it so i'll show you guys let me show you boom so yeah oh this is pretty cool no grade no charge no holder so yeah this is a harland autograph it's actually autographed not printed as you can see from the strokes it's a club card from the 2020 season 21 2020 season so uh and he's his rookie year is 1920 so it's a few years after his rookie but it was just um this is when his uh, autograph cards were like a minimum of grand so i went and bought one of these for like 50 quid off ebay and yeah i tried to get him slabbed with this but it's kind of tricky one i wanted to get autograph grading but i wasn't sure if i was able to send in the autograph submission because it will be a jumbo slab so i sent it with the jumbos uh i guess that didn't work out so yeah unfortunately this one didn't grade it up i think bgs grade these so it might be one for bgs to be honest never graded with bgs before maybe we'll send this and a bunch of other stuff in the future to bgs but yeah that is the return lots of ups and downs there jumbos can be very risky it's very hard to grade it's because mainly i think in my opinion it's hard to grade jumbos because they're very hard to store so the previous buyers you buy them from they might just have it loose and they just dash it in an envelope you know uh sleeves and top loaders for jumbos are very expensive so when these cards are inexpensive you're not going to buy sellers are not going to buy top loaders from etc um and then sleeves are not the sleeves are not really common for jumbos and you don't really find them often as well and yeah unfortunately this one got five i don't know i'm definitely gonna investigate that see if there's anything i have missed if not I might resubmit that because obviously it is fresh uh unless it's a big crease dent otherwise i don't think it should be a five but i'm really happy with the 10 that is a really nice surprise and then obviously we've got some cool stuff nice variations that you won't see ever much on youtube if anything then obviously i'll show you some of the pop reports and stuff like that but guys make sure to like subscribe i'll catch you in the next one peace